team coverage tonight on the battle between the players and the president and how fans are reacting. News Live's Allison Zimmerman talked with fans on both sides and Allison is in studio tonight with how folks are reacting here at home. Oh yeah, Robin Elizabeth, there are a lot of strong opinions on both sides and we talked to both a veteran today since he doesn't plan to watch the NFL anytime soon. And we also talked to a mom who believes the protest is a good example for her kids. This isn't about the flag and it's not about the anthem. Christy Nicky moved to Colorado a couple of years ago from South Carolina. It was just becoming honestly really racially charged um, and my youngest child who's five is mixed. And when she saw NFL players protesting, they could be doing a lot worse things. And I feel like one thing I do know about football is why they take a knee. We have a responsibility when we see something that's wrong to take a stand about it. In a military dominant area, we reached out to veterans organizations. Joe Carlson served in the Vietnam War and his reaction much different. Fought for right to free speech too, but not for you to call fire in an auditorium. No, I'm a patriot. I don't like to be insulted. Carlson even looking at taking other steps to voice his opinion. Heck, I own stock in Ford. Ford, I tell you, I think I'm probably going to sell my stock. Because doggone it, you're supporting inappropriate behavior. But for Christy, she says it's not about disrespecting the military. I have several veterans in my family. Most of my family is ex-military, and they feel the same way I do. Still, veterans like Carlson don't want to see a punishment, rather a change in behavior. They kneeled and locked arms, maybe at halftime. That's cool. You know, we can come together and we can fix a broken system. We also received a statement today from the National VFW Commander. We have his full statement up on our website, koaa.com. Back to you. Allison, thank you. Continuing our team coverage, photojournalist 